Atlantic Broadband Cable, in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors, presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Today, via tape delay from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, home of the Laurel Highlands Mustangs boys basketball team, as the Laurel Highlands Mustangs take on the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Hi, everybody. I'm Dan Wallace, along with Jerry DePay, and we welcome you aboard for tonight's basketball game. South Union Township Sports Network coverage brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUTV with J.R. Wheeler and Gary Smith. I'm Dan Wallace with Jerry DePay, and we'll be right back with the starting lineups for both teams right after these messages. High energy costs eating away at your budget? Turn to the experts and call Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated at 724-438-5400 and ask for George or Mike. Let one of them tell you about Carrier's new green speed technology. Afraid of the cost of installing a geothermal system? Let Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated explain how green speed can help you achieve the same or similar results as geothermal without the same installation costs. Past history shows that the costs of heating and cooling your home are only going to continue to go up and up. Carrier's new green speed systems, when matched to your specific situation, will help you achieve substantial operational cost savings over conventional equipment. Green speed can give you the same or very similar results as geothermal in many different scenarios. Achieve SEER ratings of up to 20 with HSPF ratings of up to 12.5 for your home with green speed. Turn to the experts by calling Fayette Furnace Company at 724-438-5400 and asking for either George or Mike about giving you an estimate for combating the continuing high costs associated with heating and cooling your home. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon. Jason Scott and Robert Schiffbar. Welcome back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Laurel Highlands Mustangs hosting the Mount Pleasant Vikings tonight. And we start with the starting lineups for the visiting Vikings. First at guard, a senior number five, Luke Lukert. A senior forward, number 11, Aaron Bunting. At guard, a junior, number 15, Keith Clapp. At guard, a junior, number 22, Jason Burnick. And final starter for the Mount Pleasant Vikings at guard, a junior number 23, is Jake Newell. We'll take a quick break, and we'll be right back with the starting lineups for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs on the South Union Township Sports Network. Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for more than 40 years and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. The rental company will meet with you at our facility to accommodate your rental needs. 
As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality Program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. So please contact Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova, Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. We care about the environment. We've always been eco-friendly facility and we are currently going through the process of being recognized by the U.S. EPA's Design for the Environment program. For all of your auto body needs, come to Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair because there is a difference. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. Time for the starting lineup for the Laurel Islands Mustangs as we come back on this afternoon Union Township Sports Network. First starter for the Mustangs at forward a senior 5'11", number five, Cameron Holt. At forward six foot two, junior number 12, Will Dykert. At forward a 6'4", junior number 13, Jake Schwartz. At guard, a 5'11", senior, number 21, Daniel Cavaney. And the final starter for the Lower Highlands Mustangs. At forward, a 6'4", junior, number 24, Hudson Novak. Here's the starting lineup for the Lower Highlands Mustangs. We'll take another quick break, and we'll be right back with the tip-off here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting-edge and cost-effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. 
Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network, just a few moments away from the opening tip-off here tonight between the visiting Mount Pleasant Vikings and the hosting Laurel Highlands Mustangs, the Mount Pleasant Vikings, they come into tonight with an overall record at 3-1 and one with a 1-1 one one conference record. And the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, they come in tonight with a 3-3 three and three overall record and their conference record standing at 2-1 with conference wins over Thomas Jefferson and the Ringgold Rams. We'll take a break though ourselves as we listen tonight to the national anthem. A 
junior, number 15, Keith Cobb. We'll take a quick break one more time before the tip off here, and we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by the Sprouse Insurance Group, located at 217 West Main Street here in Uniontown. Locally owned and operated by the Paul Sprouse Agency Incorporated. They want to be your independent insurance agency. They offer insurance coverage featuring auto and motorcycle, homeowners, life, health, disability, business, and workman's compensation. For more information, call the Sprouse Insurance Group at 724-437-9812 or visit on the web. Good luck to all the area teams from David Hughes and the professionals at the Sprouse Insurance Group. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're ready for tip-off between the Mustangs and the Vikings. And tip one by Hudson Novak for the Mustangs. And the ball now in the hands of Daniel Cavaney. Cavaney with Holt, Diker, Schwartz, and Novak for the Mustangs. Novak on the right side. He gets it down low inside to Schwartz. He can't finish the little bunny. And the ball taken under control now by the Mount Pleasant Vikings. It'll be brought up the floor by Luke Lukert. Lukert. He gives it around to Burnick. Burnick looks to drive. Kicks it back out. Now looking to drive his bunting. He'll take the little jump shot from the paint. And he gets it to go. First shot. First points tonight. Go to Mount Pleasant's Aaron Bunting. Dykert, he'll swing it around to Novak, and he's going to be fouled. A hand check foul down around the baseline. It's going to be called on Lukert, his first, and the team's first. Holt will inbounds from underneath the Mustang basket. Novak, he drives into the lane. Floater, he got it. Off the glass, Hudson Novak cashes in the first two points for the Mustangs tonight. Clap with it for Mount Pleasant. Lukert, he looks to drive, baseline, he traveled. Put the pump fake up, but kept the feet moving. And Lukert's gonna get hit with a travel. First turnover tonight for either side. No Bryce Lasky tonight for the Lower Highlands Mustangs as he'll be dealing with an ankle sprain for the next couple weeks. Schwartz in the right corner, Cavani. Holt, his shot's going to be blocked. Holt couldn't get it up quick enough, and Aaron Bunting getting over to send that one into the bleachers. Inbound will come into Cavani. 
He looks to go inside on the low block to Schwartz. No look pass, doesn't find Holt instead. It finds Burnack for Mount Pleasant. Clap, Burnack, he goes inside to Bunting. He's gonna look to back down Novak. Picked up his dribble, hands it off, and we're gonna get another travel. Clap never put the ball on the floor. And he was looking to dish it off, but kept the V moving, and he's going to get hit with a travel. Diker for the Mustangs to Novak. Down low, nice pass to find Cameron Holt. He was left wide open, back door on the baseline, and he's got an easy two points. Mustangs lead two minutes into this one, four to two. Lukert gives it off to Newell. To Burnick. Now back to Lukert. He finds Bunting in the paint. Picks up his dribble. He's stuck. He finds Lukert. He's going to pull for three. Back iron, no good. Rebound finally pulled down by Cavani. He's going to be fouled. A bad foul away from the basket. And Lukert, he's going to pick up his second already tonight. A very unnecessary foul for the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Second team foul. And that's going to prompt the first substitution for Don Porter as Jimmy Nicklo will come in and replace Lukert. Nicklo, a sophomore guard for the Vikings. Dykert, Cavani at the top of the key. And his pass is going to be taken away. He was looking to find Hudson Novak. Instead, he only finds the hands of Keith Clapp. Burnack, pump fake. Looks to drive. He'll hand it off to Nicklo for three. Rebound pulled down by Novak. Bounce pass, Hudson. He's going to have it kicked. And Jason Burnick's going to kick that one away. Mustangs will keep possession of the basketball. Dykert to Novak. Back to Cavani and Holt. Running baseline, Dykert, he gets it. Tries to go inside to Schwartz. His pass is going to be taken away. With Lukert out of the game, now Clapp running the point for Mount Pleasant. Hands it off to Nicklo. Another hand off to Burnack, back to Clapp. Nicklo, Burnack. Hand it off to Clapp. He looks to drive. Kick out, finds Newell. He'll take the floater in the lane. Doesn't go off the glass. Rebound pulled down, though, by Bunting, and he's going to be fouled. Chance for second chance points here for the Mount Pleasant Vikings as the foul is going to go against Hudson Novak. It's going to be his first of the game. And Bunting, he can't hit the first free throw. Bunting, he will get the second though. One of two from the line goes Aaron Bunting. And he pulls Mount Pleasant within one. Cavani, Holt in the corner. Skips it across to Dykert. He pumps the three. Said he'll step into the free throw line, take the jumper. Doesn't drop. And the rebound pulled down by Clapp. Jimmy Nicklo. With Newell, Burnack, back to Newell once again on the right wing. He looks to find Clapp cutting. It's knocked away by Holt, but he's going to be hit with a foul. Cameron Holt slapping at the ball, trying to knock it away. He's going to get hit with his first foul. Laurel Highland second here in the first half. Burnack inbounds, finds. Well, ball ends up finding Clapp on the right wing. His shot doesn't go, and now Schwartz with it. Schwartz was looking for Novak as he cut to the basket, but the pass behind him in sloppy basketball so far from the Mustangs. It's already their fifth turnover tonight. Nicklo to Newell. He looks to drive into the paint. Hudson Novak, good defense as he's going to get Newell to move his feet. He's going to be calling for the travel. 
Hudson Novak staying straight up to not draw that foul. He forces a Mount Pleasant turnover. Dykert inside looking to go to Schwartz. Knocked away. Schwartz able to bat it back. But it's going to go out of bounds. Saved by Dykert actually. But now it's Nicklo. He'll hand it off to Newell. But Nicklo moved his feet and he's called for the travel. Nicklo and Newell had a lane to the basket. And Nicklo picked up his dribble. Kept the feet moving. 3-10 left to go in the first quarter. We're only at a 4-3 game here with the Mustangs on top. Wholesale changes almost for the Mustangs as Runko comes in, Holbert comes in, Burchick. They'll be out there with Novak and Schwartz. Schwartz just from in front of the free throw line off the glass. He can't get it to drop. And the rebound's going to be pulled down by Nicklow, and Holbert is going to get hit with a foul well away from the basket. A bad foul for the Mustangs. Holbert's first, the team's third. Into the game now for Mount Pleasant as well as Aaron Troxel. Nicklo to Newell. He's going to hit the three. Jake Newell was left wide open. He knocks down the triple. 6-4. The Vikings take their first lead of the night. Make their second lead. They were up 2-0. Schwartz inside. And he's going to be fouled. And Schwartz looking to take the ball to the rim. It's going to be the first foul on Keith Clapp tonight. And Schwartz, he'll have to earn him from the line. First one, right side and out. A substitution for Mount Pleasant as back in comes Jason Burnick. And out comes Keith Clapp. Second one. Schwartz can't get that one either, 0 for 2 from the line. Bunting pulls down the board. Nicolo, Burnick, deep three off the front of the rim, and the rebound pulled down by Schwartz. Runko gives it off to Novak. Novak again. He's going to look for three. His shot's no good, and the rebound pulled down by Troxel. Mustangs not getting the shots to drop so far tonight. As now it's Nicolo. Troxel hands it off to Burnick. He drives into the lane, and he's going to draw a foul. It's going to be a blocking foul. No, they're going to hit Runko. I thought they were going to call that one on Schwartz, but they're going to get Runko on the arm. It's Runko's first and the team's fourth. And immediately Cavani, he's going to come back in. Burnick, he gets the first one. Cavani in for the Mustangs. Clap in for the Vikings. Burnick, he gets the second one as well. 8-4. Vikings lead the Mustangs. Cavani. He'll take it to the free throw line. Kick out for Runko. Back to Cavani once again. Over to Holbert. Inside, he looks to go to Schwartz. He has it stripped away. Burnick knocked it out of bounds. Ball's going to stay with the Mustangs. Laura, having, Laura Highland's having a little trouble solving this Mount Pleasant 2-3 zone so far. Schwartz, turn around, Jay. And Jake Schwartz is on the board for the first time tonight. 8-6, Mount Pleasant leads with a minute left to go in the first quarter. Troxel, he'll bring it to the free throw line, has a strip by Holbert. He's got Cavani with him. Cavani, almost lost the handle on it, throws it away, it's Burnick. He's got Nicklow well ahead of the pack. Nicklow, he'll lay it off the glass and it doesn't go. Schwartz pulls down the rebound. Now he's looking to go all the way to the rim. He's fouled. So Jake Schwartz goes coast to coast himself. Can't get the shot to go, but he's going to draw a foul on Burnick. 
It's going to be Burnax first. And Schwartz will get two more. 0 for 2 his first time to the line. Schwartz, make it 0 for 3. And he still can't get one from the line. He's 0 for 4 tonight is Jake Schwartz. Into the game for the first time for Mount Pleasant is Brandon McCormick. And back in is Jake Newell. Burnick to Troxel, and he traveled. It's about the fourth travel we've seen already tonight on the, here in the first quarter for the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Both sides with a lot of turnovers. Neither coach is going to be happy as we come to the first quarter break in about 30 seconds. Cavani to Runko. Back to Cavani one more time. And he throws it away right into the hands of Burnick again. He was looking for Chayton Burchick. Now Burnick thought about taking the three from the wing. Hands it off to Noel. Look for the skip pass. And that one was read easily by Cavani. He just can't control it. And he knocks it out of bounds with eight seconds left to go in the first. Holbert's going to quickly come back in for the Mustangs. As he's going to replace Jake Schwartz. Elijah Gwynn also in there as well now for the Mustangs. Four seconds. Clap, he's going to look to drive. Can't find McCormick. Goes out of bounds, and the Mustangs are going to have 1.7 to work with. Pressure's going to come from Mount Pleasant. Finds Burchick. He looks to throw it up, and it's going to be well short. That's how we'll go to the first quarter break. 8-6, Mount Pleasant leads Laurel Highlands. We'll be back after a quick break here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. Good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Good luck to the Mustangs from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbar. We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. It's ready to start quarter number two between the Laurel Highlands Mustangs and the Mount Pleasant Vikings. 8-6, the Vikings lead. Dan Wallace here with Jerry DePay running the camera tonight. Mount Pleasant will get the basketball to start the quarter. Burnett goes inside looking for Bunning. It's knocked away by Schwartz. It's Burnett, clap. Bunting, Newell, along with Lukert out there for Mount Pleasant. Vikings have, or making the Mustangs have Holt, Dykert, Cavani, Novak, and Schwartz. So starting five for both teams out there to start the quarter. Lukert, he gets into the paint, has it stripped away, and now it's Dykert, Holt. Bounce pass to Cavani, back out to Holt. He's going to look to take the three, and he knocks it down. Cameron Holt knocks down the first triple tonight for the Mustangs. And they're back on top, 9-8. Pass tipped by Novak as it's Lukert. Back to Clapp. 
Burnick in the corner for three. His is short, and the rebound's pulled down by Cavani. And another bad foul by Mount Pleasant, well away from the basket. And they're going to hit Bunting with it. That's going to be his second. So a bad way to pick up your second foul for Aaron Bunting. Make that his first foul. Holt, Novak, Cavani. Back to Holt, look to go inside quickly to Novak. He wasn't ready for it, can't handle the pass. And another turnover for Laurel Highlands. Leads to Clapp, bringing the ball up the floor for Mount Pleasant. Lukert, another bad pass. Over the head of Lukert, out of bounds, and Laurel Highlands just like that. He's back in possession of the basketball. Wants to go inside to Novak. Cavani, Holt, and Novak once more. He looks to drive baseline, kick out. Cavani open for three. Well short, rebound pulled down by Bunting. Lukert, he gives it to clap back to Lukert. He gets to the free throw line, finds Bunting, his jump shot, nice soft touch. Off the rim, off the glass, and in. Cavani to Holt. Cavani. Tries to go inside to Schwartz. Ball's kicked away. Laurel Highland's really having a tough time solving this 2-1-2 zone that Mount Pleasant has dropped into. Schwartz, he gets position inside, he gets it to go, and he's going to the line for one more. Quick inbound finds Jake Schwartz in good position. He lays it off the glass, and the foul is going to go against Lukert, and that's already going to be his third tonight. So Luke Lukert hit with his third personal, the team's sixth. He's going to have to sit down. And there's Jimmy Nicklow's back in, and Schwartz still can't find it from the line. Ball goes out of bounds. Bunting was looking for a timeout, didn't get it. Mustangs with an 11-10 lead here. Holt finds Novak. He'll take it from just in front of the free throw line. Doesn't get it to go, but he finds his own rebound. And then Hudson's going to earn two free throws. There's a good second effort by Hudson. Novak draws the foul against Keith Clapp. It's going to be Clapp's second. That's going to put Laurel Highlands in the bonus as well for the rest of the first half. And Laurel Highlands struggles from the strike continue. 0 for 6 so far tonight. Novak, he gets the second one as that's the first free throw Laurel Highlands puts through tonight. And they lead Mount Pleasant 12-10. Clap. Looking to go to Newell, it's taken away by Cavani. Outlet, quick pass to Novak. He's going to put it up off the glass. It's short, rebound, flat four, knocked out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Mount Pleasant. And we're going to get a timeout, 30-second timeout call by Don Porter for Mount Pleasant. So we'll take a 30-second break as well, and we'll be right back here on the South Union Township Sports Network. High energy costs eating away at your budget? Turn to the experts and call Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated at 724-438-5400 and ask for George or Mike. Let one of them tell you about Carrier's new green speed technology. Afraid of the cost of installing a geothermal system? Let Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated ex explain how green speed can help you achieve the same or similar results as geothermal without the same installation costs. Past history shows that the costs of heating and cooling your home are only going to continue to go up and up. Carrier's new green speed systems, when matched to your specific situation, will help you achieve substantial operational cost savings over conventional equipment. 
Green Speed can give you the same or very similar results as geothermal in many different scenarios. Achieve SEER ratings of up to 20 with HSPF ratings of up to 12.5 for your home with Green Speed. Turn to the experts by calling Fayette Furnace Company at 724 438 5400 and asking for either George or Mike about giving you an estimate for combating the continuing high costs associated with heating and cooling your home. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs lead the Mount Pleasant Vikings 12-10. Five and a half left to go here in the second quarter. Nick Lowe finds Newell. Kalp inside. Burnick back to Kalp as he's going to cut to the basket and lay it off the glass. Nice drive there by Keith Kalp. And now quickly Laurel Highlands. Dykert finds Jake Schwartz who puts it off the glass for two. Jake Schwartz, six points tonight. Burnick, bunting. He'll find Nick Lowe. Newell, he takes it inside. Finger roll, and Newell's got himself two points. Make it five tonight now for Jake Newell. Schwartz, he'll take the jumper from just past the free throw line. It doesn't drop. But Dykert fighting for the rebound gets it. Looking for a third opportunity. No, it'll be Nick Lowe that comes away with the basketball. 14-14, Mustangs and Vikings. Bunting. Newell from the corner for three. No. And Daniel Cavani pulls down the board. Looking to run now with the Mustangs. Cavani hands it off to Holt. He'll take the three. That's a strong for Cameron Holt. And Keith Kalp right there for it. Well over the head of Burnett goes Kalp's pass. And Runko's going to check back in for the Mustangs. He's going to replace Daniel Cavani. Holt. Runko. Back to Cameron Holt one more time. Still trying to find a way to beat this 2-1-2 two -two zone. Dykert inside, he finds Jake Schwartz with a beautiful bounce pass. Laura Highland starting to find their answer. They go inside to Jake Schwartz, he's got eight. Now 1-3-1 one, one trap for the Mustangs. Bunting. His shot's going to be blocked by Schwartz. He gets it right back though, off the glass, and no. And Aaron Bunting's going to have to earn them both from the line. But he draws the 15 foul on the Mustangs. And it's going to go against Cameron Holt, as that's going to be number one for him. Make it two. Bunting, first free throw, he got it. Bunting gets a friendly roll on the second one as well. We're knotted back up here at 16. Dykert to Runko. Back to Dykert. To Novak. On the left wing. Will Dykert. He's going to take the shot from the top of the key. A little bit strong. Runko, though, pulls down the board. And Laurel Highlands is going to get a second crack at it. Novak. Dykert, backdoor cut, lays it off the glass. Beautiful look by Novak, beautiful cut by Will. Dykert finds two. Back into that 1-3-1 one, one trap. Skip pass, Newell, he's left wide open in the corner for three. His shot doesn't go. And Hudson Novak looking to run quickly for the Mustangs. Novak into the lane, he's going to be fouled. Trying to go coast to coast, Hudson Novak draws some contact. And it's going to be a foul against number 33 for Mount Pleasant. And they're going to make it 23. It's going to be Jake Newell. Novak. 
Can't hit that free throw. That's the first foul on Newell. It's the eighth team foul for Mount Pleasant. Second one for Novak. So make it the first one because we had a lane violation on the first free throw. <laughs> 0 for 3 goes Hudson Novak. We make it 0 for 2 in the books as they continue to struggle from the line. Kalp, Burnick, Troxel and back to Kalp. Inside he goes to Bunting. He finds Kalp cutting. Ball taken away by Runko, out of bounds it goes, and it's going to stay with Mount Pleasant. 2.25 left to go in the second quarter. Mustangs up two, 18 to 16. Quick inbound as Burnick finds Bunting up in the air, cutting to the basket. An easy two for Aaron Bunting. He's got nine. We're deadlocked at 18. Dykert. Schwartz. He's going to go up hard with it. And it's just a little short, and Kalp comes away with it. Burnack. Newell. His shot doesn't drop, but Troxel, smallest man on the court, comes away with the rebound, and Bunting is going to be fouled. They're going to hit Chayton Burchick with his first tonight. And Bunning is going to go back to the free throw line, looking to get himself into double digits. First one barely clips the front of the rim. Second one, Bunning got that one. Vikings with a one-point edge, 19-18 over the Mustangs. Runko wanted to go inside to Burchick, thinks better of it. Novak. He finds Schwartz inside, and he's got the easy jump bunny. Jake Schwartz got his position. Hudson Novak found him. And Jake Schwartz first make it second man into double digits tonight. Bunting the first with 10. Burchick, he gets a steal. He's going to go up hard with it off the glass short. Novak, he skies for the rebound. And he's going to be fouled on the second chance. 11 going to be called for the foul. That's Aaron Bunting. That's his second. And Novak. Just the first one to go from the free throw line. Novak, second one, he gets them both. He gives the Mustangs a three-point edge. It's 22-19 Mustangs. Troxel. He'll give it to Bunting. Back to Troxel. He's looking for three. Short, but he finds his rebound. Takes it right up in and puts it in. No box out. No Mustang near the rebound. Smallest man on the floor. Aaron Troxel finds his own rebound, puts it back in. On the other end, Schwartz quickly the Mustang strike again. Schwartz on his way to a big night. 12 points here in the first half as we have 45 seconds left to go. Burnick, pump fake, drives, finds Bunning inside. He almost can't handle it. Gives it back to Burnick. It's going to be stripped away. Dykert, he scrambles for the loose ball and gets it. Runko, Schwartz. He looks to drive, and he's going to get a blocking foul called against Newell. It's going to go in. Jake Newell. It's going to be his second. Double bonus for the remainder of this 26 seconds left in the first half. Schwartz, he gets the first free throw. First one he's knocked down tonight. Schwartz, second one, not as friendly of a roll. And Newell comes away with the rebound from Mount Pleasant. 20 seconds to work with now for the Vikings. Troxel, Newell. He's going to look to drive, and Burchick, he's going to get hit with the blocking foul. 
Bucks. Second foul on Burchick. And that's going to put Newell at the free throw line for one and one. A couple substitutions for the Mustangs. Elijah Gwynn back in. Daniel Cavani back in. J.J. Holbert. down the first one. Second one, Newell doesn't get that one. Mustangs, 13 seconds to work with. Dykert, his pass well out of the reach of J.J. Holbert. Mount Pleasant will get it back. 10 seconds left to go in the first half. A three-point shot away from sending this game into halftime. Deadlock to 25. Troxel, Kalp, Burnick, Kalp. Out of the hands of both Troxel and Newell. And now Laurel Highlands with a chance with 3.3 to extend the lead. Novak, Schwartz, they both come back in. Gwynn comes out. Dykert comes out. Now make it. Nobody's really sure who's coming out. As Gwynn stays in, Burchick comes out. Inbound finds Schwartz. Three seconds, he'll take the shot. Jake Schwartz got it. A huge shot with a hand in his face. That was only a two-point bucket. It'll be 27-22 Mustangs as we head to the halftime break as Jake Schwartz knocks one down just before the buzzer. 27-22 Mustangs over the Mount Pleasant Vikings. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back with some halftime stats here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by the Sprouse Insurance Group located at 217 West Main Street here in Uniontown. Locally owned and operated by the Paul Sprouse Agency Incorporated, they want to be your independent insurance agency. They offer insurance coverage featuring auto and motorcycle, homeowners, life, health, disability, business, and workman's compensation. For more information, call the Sprouse Insurance Group at 724-437-9812 or visit on the web. Good luck to all the area teams from David Hughes and the professionals at the Sprouse Insurance Group. did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Here we go, 
We're back on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're at halftime between the Mustangs and the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Lower Highlands Mustangs lead 27-22 at the halftime break. And now it's time for some halftime stats for both sides. We start with the visiting Mount Pleasant Vikings. Leading the way is Aaron Bunting. He's got 10 points so far for Mount Pleasant. He's followed up by Jake Newell. He hit a couple. He hit a triple. One two-point shot and a free throw. He's got six. And then a couple guys with two as Jason burnick has got two. Aaron Troxel has two. And Keith Kalp also chipped in two points. That's how they got to the 22 that they stand at right now. Only one person in real foul trouble for the Mount Pleasant Vikings. It's Luke Lukert. He's got three, but they do have a couple guys with two. That'll be something to watch in the second half as Aaron Bunting, Keith Kalp, and Jake Newell all have two fouls for Mount Pleasant. Now on the other side for the Mustangs, Jake Schwartz leading the way, 15 points for him in the first half. He only had two in the first quarter, but he put 13 through the hoop in the second quarter. He's followed up by Hudson Novak with five, as well as Cameron Holt with five. And the only other Mustang to score in the first half, Will Dykert, he put two in. That's how the Mustangs got to their 27 here in the first half. No real foul trouble for the Mustangs. Nobody with more than two, but Chayton burchick has got two. And Cameron Holt, he has two as well. The only Mustangs with at least two fouls in that first half. So we'll take one more break, and we'll be back with the second half between the Mount Pleasant Vikings and the Lower Highlands Mustangs as the Mustangs lead 27-22 at the halftime break here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, is proud to be a sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network. They have been serving the area with quality work and integrity for more than 40 years, and they would like to again thank their past customers and look forward to serving new customers as well. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair, LLC, works with all insurance companies and provides assistance with car rental arrangements that coordinate with the auto repair work. The rental company will meet with you at our facility to accommodate your rental needs. As a member of the DuPont Assurance of Quality Program, our refinishes are guaranteed and all repairs have a lifetime warranty as long as the customer owns the vehicle. Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC clearly recognizes and understands the current and ever-changing atmosphere that exists in today's collision repair and insurance industries. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. We care about the environment. We've always been eco-friendly facility and we are currently going through the process of being recognized by the U.S. EPA's Design for the Environment program. For all of your auto body needs, come to Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair because there is a difference. So please contact Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC located at Atlas Road in Hopwood. That's Ted Sova Body and Fender Repair LLC offering complete collision service for both domestic and foreign vehicles for more than 40 years. For more information, please stop by or call us at 724-437-2351. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. 
They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan, and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience, patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS worked with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Welcome back on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're ready for the second half to start here between the Mustangs and the Mount Pleasant Vikings. 27-22 Laurel Highlands leads. Novak, Cavani, Holt, Schwartz, and Burchick out there for the Mustangs start the second half. It's Burnick, Newell, Lukert, Kalp, and Bunting for the Vikings. Quickly, Mustangs go inside to Schwartz. His little jumper doesn't go. Fighting for his own rebound, though, and it's taken away by Bunting. He's got Kalp with him. Bounce pass. He finds Kalp. Reverse off the glass. No. And the rebound pulled down by Laurel Highlands. Cavani, Novak. He looks to drive baseline. He's going to be called for a travel. Got caught up with some legs down on the baseline. Hudson Novak took a few too many steps. Luker out there with the three fouls for Mount Pleasant. Burnick. Kelp. Back to Burnick. Lefty takes the shot and doesn't drop. He's going to be off the baseline. They're going to say out of bounds. Mustang basketball. Cavani to Novak. Back to Cavani. Swings it around to Holt. Cavani almost has it taken away. He gets into the lane. Holt. He's got an open look at three. Doesn't go. Over the backboard, and the rebound pulled down by Burnick. Luker to Burnick. Kalp. Burnick again. Skip pass across to Luker. Goes to the lane. Newell. Kalp and Burnick. Kalp. Luker. Nice ball movement now by Mount Pleasant. Bunting. He drives. And he's going to be fouled. It looks like it's going to go against Burchick. And if it is, it's his third. And it is. Chayton Burchick hit with his third foul. And quickly, it's going to bring Will Dyker to the scorer's table. And Bunting doesn't catch anything on the free throw. Second one, Bunting gets that one on a friendly roll. Back into that 2-1-2 zone for Mount Pleasant. Holt, Cavani, Novak, inside to Schwartz with the left hand. He lays it off the glass for two. Jake Schwartz now 17 points in this ball game. 29-23, Mustangs lead. Burnick finds the cutting Kalp off the glass. It's rejected by Novak. Cavani looking to go quickly. 
Holt tried to give it back to Cavani, knocked away. Laura Highlands is going to get it back. That was the last touch by a Viking. Cavani, Holt, back to Cavani. Novak, he's got a clean look at three, doesn't go. Rebound pulled down by Burnick. Keith Kalp looking to drive, kick out. Burnick open for three. Strong. Rebound brought down by Cavani. Dykert finds Novak cutting to the basket off the glass. No. Schwartz, though, pulls it down, and he's going to go to line for two more. Jake Schwartz has not had a good night from the free throw line, but he's going to get a chance for two more. Schwartz. Another one rolls out for him. And no good on the second as well for Schwartz. Can't get his stroke from the free throw line tonight. Niccolo. Hands off to Kalp, looking to go inside to Burnick. He's able to control it. Rebound, finds Dykert. He looks to run with it. He's going to take a right up the middle himself with a finger roll. Well, Dykert goes coast to coast. He's got four. The Mustangs starting to stretch this lead as they lead by eight. Nick Lowe. Newell. Goes Bunting. Newell. Skip pass across to Nick Lowe. Knocked away by Dykert, but Nick Lowe, he gets it right back. Bunting. Brings it back out to Nick Lowe, and now it's Burnick. He'll hand it right back off. Newell. He looks to drive. Off the glass, Jake Newell, two more. Mustangs lead by 6, 31, 25. Holt with it. Looking for Dykert. Gets away from him. And Hudson Novak trying to save it. He stepped on the line. It's out of bounds. Niccolo. His pass almost taken away by Novak, but it finds Newell. Burnick, he's going to drive. Floater in the lane, no good. Rebound, fought for and pulled down. Holt, Schwartz. Nice little dump pass down to Hudson Novak. On the bounce, Jake Schwartz finds him. The Mustangs now up by eight. Hudson Novak with seven points. Kalp, Nick Lowe. Now Burnick. Nick Lowe again. Being harassed by Dykert, and it's going to force Mount Pleasant to take a timeout. Don Porter calls time. We'll take a timeout as well. Full timeout for Mount Pleasant. Laurel Highlands leads 33-25. We'll be right back with the remainder of the third quarter here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. With offices in Uniontown and Chalk Hill, Representative Mahoney is dedicated to providing the best leadership and quality representation to his constituents. He can be reached at 66A Lebanon Avenue in Uniontown, 724-438-6100, and in Chalk Hill at 2925 National Pike, 724-437-2521. 
Good luck to all of the area teams from State Representative Tim Mahoney of the 51st Legislative District. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs with an eight-point lead, 33-25 over the Mount Pleasant Vikings. 3.08 left to go here in the third quarter. Mount Pleasant, they're going to come out of the break with Nicklo, Kelp, Bunting, Newell, and Burnick. Mustangs with Holt, Cavani, Dykert, Schwartz, and Novak. Newell, he's going to drive off the glass. He got it. What a shot by Jake Newell. He gets to drop, and he's going to get one more for his troubles from the line. Jake Schwartz is going to be hit with the foul. It's only going to be his first. But an acrobatic shot knocked down by Jake Newell. He's got 10 points, make it 11. Holt with Kameny. Kameny being harassed by Kalp. He gets a screen from Novak. Goes inside to Schwartz. Quick off the glass and it goes. He'll get one more from the line. The foul is going to go against Aaron Bunting. It's going to be his third foul. Schwartz now with 19 points tonight. One thing Schwartz has not been able to do is knock him down from the line. One of nine. Make it one of ten. Jake Schwartz has done everything well tonight other than knock it down from the free throw line. Newell, he looks to drive. Met by Holt there, his shot's short, but he gets his own rebound and puts it right back in. Jake Newell with 13. Holt, he's going to drive off the glass. Cameron Holt got it. Quickly back and forth we go. Mustangs out on top of the Vikings by seven. Troxel with it as the Vikings trail by seven, 37-30. And Dykert, he's going to be hit with a hand check foul. Will Dykert, his first foul tonight. Team's third here in the second half. Kalp, hands off to Burnick. Finds Newell. Got the feet moving a little too quickly. He's going to get hit with the travel. Cavani quickly inside to Schwartz. He takes it right up. It doesn't go, but Novak gets the rebound and one. Hudson Novak, a strong move underneath. And it's going to be Burnick with the foul. His second. Team's third. Novak, he'll get the free throw. Largest lead of the night for the Mustangs. They lead by 10. It's 40 to 30 over the Vikings. Kalp looks to drive. Hands off to Troxel. He'll take the jumper from the elbow. Doesn't go. Rebound fought for, and it's going to be Kalp with an over the back foul. Team's fourth. And Kalp getting hit with his third personal. Holt, he has the ball knocked away. Mustangs will inbound from the baseline. Finds Cavani, quickly Novak. We're going to go back inside to Holt. 
Out of bounds it goes, and Mount Pleasant gets the basketball. A little pressure put on by Daniel Cavaney, but Kalp finds it. Troxel on the right wing. Almost has it knocked away by Cavaney. As now it's bunting. Looking for Newell, knocked away by Novak, but right to Troxel. Kalp will take the three, he got that one. Keith Kalp, a big shot for the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Brings them within seven, it's 40-33 Mustangs. Holt, Cavaney back to Holt. Inside it goes at the free throw line to Dykert. Holt, he looks for three. Rebound by Novak and tipped right back in. Hudson Novak cleaning up the offensive boards. 12 points tonight for Hudson Novak. Kalp has it stripped by Cavani. He's looking for the fast break. Three Vikings on his tail, knocked away. Out of bounds off the foot of Daniel Cavani. Ball goes back to Mount Pleasant. And your substitution is J.J. Holbert. Going to check in quickly for Jake Schwartz. Six point nine to go. Bunting. Bunting puts up the shot from deep. It's short. And that's how we'll go to the third quarter break. Laurel Highlands Mustangs on top of the Mount Pleasant Vikings. It's 42-33 as we head to the fourth quarter action. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game is being brought to you in part by the Sprouse Insurance Group, located at 217 West Main Street here in Uniontown. Locally owned and operated by the Paul Sprouse Agency Incorporated, they want to be your independent insurance agency. They offer insurance coverage featuring auto and motorcycle, homeowners, life, health, disability, business, and workman's compensation. For more information, call the Sprouse Insurance Group at 724-437-9812 or visit on the web. Good luck to all the area teams from David Hughes and the professionals at the Sprouse Insurance Group. One more quarter to play here on the South Union Township Sports Network as the Laurel Highlands Mustangs lead the Mount Pleasant Vikings 42-33. Eight minutes left to go. Mount Pleasant, they'll start the quarter with Burnick, Lukert, Kalp, it's Newell and Bunting. Mustangs with Runko, Cavani, Holbert, Novak, and Dykert. Inside the ball goes Bunting off the glass. Rebound fought for. Kalp ends up with it. He looks to go off the glass. Straight up is Will Dykert. No foul, but it's going to be touched by him last. Protect the middle. Protect the middle. Inbound Burnick. Newell. Back to Kalp. He pulls from three. And it's going to hit. Back behind the backboard on the supports. Quickly a short breather for Jake Schwartz, but he's back in now. He'll replace J.J. Holbert. Runko. Novak posting up. Cavani, he'll take the shot from the free throw line. No good. But Dykert fighting for the rebound, finds it. Now Novak. Looking to go behind his back. He throws it off the back of his own foot. Out of bounds. Elijah Gwynn will check in at the next whistle. Newell 
Gets a screen from Lukert. Burnick. He'll hand it off to Lukert. Tries to go behind his back with the dribble, and he's going to be tied up. Ball goes to the Mustangs. So Gwyn, he checks in. He'll replace Hudson Novak. Cavani, Runko, Gwyn, back to Cavani. One more time, Runko, he looks for three. No good. Rebound. Pulled down by Newell. He gives it to Kalp. Keith Kalp looking to work on Runko. Burnick. Lukert gets Dykert off his feet. And he gets the easy baseline jumper. Seven point lead for the Mustangs, 42-35. Schwartz. Cavani. Dykert. Cavani one more time. Back to Will Dykert. Don't get a hand check foul. Keith Kalp. It's going to be his fourth. Dykert for three. Big shot by Will Dykert. Puts the Mustangs back up by 10. Will has seven points now on the night for Laurel Highlands. Burnick. Looking for the skip pass to Kalp, taken away by Elijah Gwynn. Cavani, bounce pass to Dyker, wide open with the left hand. Beautiful look by Cavani, beautiful finish by Will Dyker, and it forces Don Porter to call a timeout. Full timeout coming for Mount Pleasant. Mustangs lead by 12, it's 47-35. We'll take a break and we'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Mustangs lead 47-35 over Mount Pleasant. 5.38 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Nicolo hands it off to Burnick at the free throw line. Kick out to Nicolo. And now it's Lukert. He'll give it off to Newell. Back to Lukert. Drives, kick out, no look pass to Burnick. For three, no. And Hudson Novak elevates for the rebound. Will Dykert wanted to go inside to Novak, thought better of it. This time Runko will. Novak tried to lay it in. Now it's Newell. He'll put it off the glass, it doesn't go. But Novak right there for another board. Dykert with it. Goes inside to Schwartz, has it knocked away. Jimmy Nicolo comes away with it. Newell. Uses a screen from Bunting. Now Lukert, and on the arm, David Runko. He's gonna be calling for a foul. Nicolo on the inbound, finds Burnick. Almost taken away by Runko, and now it's Burnick one more time with it. 
He looks to get into the lane. Schwartz, a lot of contact, no call. Tipped around, and Elijah Gwynn comes down with it. Dykert. Finds Novak inside. It goes to Jake Schwartz with the hook shot. No. But he finds his own rebound. Fighting through a couple Mount Pleasant bodies. Up again he goes. No. Scramble now for the ball on the floor, and it comes away with Jimmy Nicklow. Jimmy Nicklow's pass almost taken away by Novak, and we're going to get another bad foul. Looks like it's going to go against Runko again. And it is. David Runko going to be called for his third. And J.J. Holbert, he'll check in and replace Elijah Gwynn. Bunting. Newell with it. And now Kalp. Keith Kalp hands it off to Burnick. Inside to Bunting. Burnick. Bunting again. He'll take the jumper. No good. Novak comes down with the rebound. Hudson looking to drive. Left hand with the right-handed floater. Kalp with the rebound. Three minutes left to go. Mustangs up by 12. It's 47-35. Burnick right back to Kalp. He'll put it off the glass. A nice give and go for Mount Pleasant. Cuts the lead to 10. Dykert, Runko, Holbert. Runko again looking for Novak inside off his fingertips. Couldn't handle the pass. And now... Chayton Burchick will check back in. He replaces Hudson Novak. Kalp. Burnick. Kalp in the corner. Gives it back to Burnick one more time. Inside it goes to Lukert. He finds Bunting. Stripped away. And J.J. Holbert comes away with it. Holbert, he keeps possession. Finds Schwartz. And Schwartz is going to be called for the travel. Another substitution. Daniel Cavani back in for the Mustangs. Out comes David Runko. Possess the ball. Newell and Kalp. Burnick for three. Too strong. Schwartz comes away with the rebound. And Dykert will take it and look to slow it up for the Mustangs. Inside, Burchick. Off the glass. No. Cavani comes away with the rebound. And now Will Dykert out around midcourt. Dykert. Cavani just keeps it in bounds. Schwartz. His shot blocked by Bunting, gets it right back. He'll take it in the lane and lay it in. Second effort from Jake Schwartz pays off. It's 49-37 Mustangs. And Schwartz, he's got himself 21 tonight. Burnick, we're going to get a foul away from the ball. It's Will Dykert. Dykert second. One more foul by the Mustangs. It'll put Mount Pleasant in the bonus. Inbound pass taken away quickly by Cavani. And Cavani's going to get called for a double dribble. Lukert inbounding, finds Kalp, lays it off the glass for two. Quick inbound, finds two points for the Vikings, and they'll take a quick timeout, so we'll take a timeout as well. The Mustangs leading Mount Pleasant, 49-39, with a minute 17 left. We'll be right back on the South Union Township Sports Network.
point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Minute 17 left to go as we come back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Quick inbound, finds Cavani breaking away, and we're getting a foul by Troxel. Cavani broke away from the pack. Aaron Troxel hit with the foul. Cavani, he's going to get two from the line. First one, doesn't go for Cavani. With the second now, he gets that one. One for two goes Daniel Cavani, his first point tonight. It's 50-39 Mustangs. Kalp. Burnick back to Kalp. He's open for the jumper, instead takes it in, fades away. His shot strong. Schwartz pulls down the rebound, throws it off, bunting. Ball's going to go down to the Mustangs. <laughs> Quick inbound, finds Schwartz way away from the pack, lays it off the glass for two. And he's going to the line for one more. 23 tonight now for Jake Schwartz. And Bunting is going to be hit with his third foul. They get four on Aaron Bunting. One free throw now for Schwartz. As he gets that one. 24 points for Jake Schwartz on the night. As we're at one minute left to go in the fourth quarter. Burnick, deep three, strong. And Schwartz comes away with the rebound. He has Chayton Burchick ahead. Burchick stops, he's fouled. Luke Lukert's gonna get hit with his fifth foul. So Lukert's night is done. Chayton Burchick's going to get two from the free throw line. Couple of changes, Gwyn in, Runko in, Holbert. Couple changes as well for Mount Pleasant. Nicolo back in, McCormick in. Burchick for his free throw, he got that one. Second one, too strong for Burchick. Rebound pulled down by Bunting and he finds Kalp. Keith Kalp looking to drive to the basket, off the glass, no, Burchick with the rebound, Cameron Holt. No foul call, a lot of contact. It's J.J. Holbert with it. Gives it across to Runko, only 34 seconds left. Holbert, he'll take the three. Too strong for Holbert. And it goes out of bounds, last touch by Mount Pleasant. Stays with the Mustangs. Burchick, Holt, Runko, Holbert. He'll take another three. Too strong for Holbert again. Elijah Gwynn with the rebound, his shot's blocked. Tipped around, up it goes. And the rebound finally pulled down by Keith Kalp. Holbert. A little over aggressive, well away from the basket as J.J. Holbert's going to get hit with his second foul. It's going to be one and one for Keith Kalp into the bonus with 14 seconds left. Yeah. 
Kalp can't hit the front end. Gwynn comes away with the rebound. Now all Laurel Highlands has to do is take it across the timeline, and that'll do it. Runco can just hold it, dribble out the clock, and the Mustangs will move to a 4-3 and three record here on the early high school basketball season with a 54-39 win over the Mount Pleasant Vikings. The Vikings, they drop to a 1-4 and four record on the season. Laurel Highlands, their next game, they take on West Mifflin and then Waynesburg Central on the road, both of those games, and the Mount Pleasant Vikings. Now they get the, they get the South Moreland Scotties before a Christmas tournament opens up where they get North Star and West Shamokin. Final totals. Final totals for both sides. 39 points put up by the Mount Pleasant Vikings. As it was four for Aaron Troxel. Two for Luke Lukert, 11 for Aaron Bunting. Keith Kalp finishes with nine. Jason Bernick finishes with two. And Jake Newell leads the way with all Viking scores as he chips in 13. It was a big night tonight for Jake Schwartz as he finishes with 24 points. Will Dykert, he chips in seven. It was seven points tonight as well for Cameron Holt. Daniel Cavaney only with one. 12 points for Hudson Novak. And Chayton Burchick, he chips in one as well. So that'll do it for us tonight here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight's game was brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, J.R. Wheeler, and Gary Smith and their staff. I'm Dan Walsh, Jerry DePay. This has been a South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Once again, your final score, Mustangs win it 54 39 over the Mount Pleasant, Valken, Mount Pleasant Vikings. You've been watching the South Union Township Sports Network.